All right, guys, today we're going to be playing a Wukong in the top lane. For the best runes for Wukong, I would always recommend going for Conqueror. Uh, also take Triumph, Alacrity, uh, Last Stand, also Magical Foodwear with the uh, Biscuit Delivery. Uh, now, if you actually want to see the entire build that I'm going to use in this game um, for Wukong, I would definitely recommend the description below because I'll be placing it all down there. But with that being said, Wukong is a very interesting champion. Uh, especially when you play him against something like a Nocturne top. I do have one thing to note. We actually have magic resist in the bonus stats because I thought we were playing against a Teemo, but apparently it's not, so. So, Wukong, as a champion, is really strong at the moment. Uh, believe it or not, but he's actually one of the best top laners right now to pick up because he's really easy to play and he's actually got an incredible win rate and everything. Now, in terms of the way how you play him, usually you want to play aggressive level 1. Kind of depends on the matchup, but we're currently up against Nocturne. Um, we definitely don't want to push against Nocturne early on in the game. We rather have Nocturne pushed in level 1. And as soon as you make it to level 3, that's where trading is actually going to start off against this guy. So we're going to be chilling out. We're going to be relaxing for a little bit. I want to actually get like a short trade on come off. There we go. If you trade your opponent, always trade starting with your E into auto and then your Q. That's the best way to trade with Wukong. We also have a long range Q so he can spam that constantly all the time. And he doesn't have much time to respond to it. You see? This is a very clean way of like trading your opponent. Got him. He tried timing out his W. If I actually hit my Q into his W, he might have been able to turn around slowly. But I was actually waiting it out so I would get a guaranteed Q off. And he also wouldn't get the attack speed from when it does actually hit. Now we pushed in all the way. Gonna have to reset the wave before we go back. The wave clear from Wukong is, I'd say, decent, right? It, it becomes really good when you get like a few items. Nice. Now we go back to base. I'm very happy that Nocturne is actually not freezing yet. Like, he's unable to since the wave is too massive for him. Now, for our item, we have two choices. We could go for Define. We could also go for Trinity Force. Uh, I think for this game specifically, I actually want to go for Trinity Force. And I'll get into it why that is. Uh, it's actually going to... Slow push it, great. So, oh, I'm actually not moving. The reason why I want to take this is because they don't really have tanks in their comp, right? If they have, like, a bunch of tanks, you want to go for Define Sonoru. Um, if they have a lot of these kind of champions, which are not definitely not building tank, you want to go for Trinity 4. So it kind of depends on, uh, on uh, what they're playing. Now we're going to hold the wave here again. Uh, we want to try to hold it instead of crashing it into the tower. Uh, we can do that quite easily, actually. Just going to use my W to make that work. As long as we hold the wave inside this position specifically, uh, he's going to be unable to trade me properly. If we start pushing towards Nocturne, it's going to be a problem. He's going to go for the CS, so we go for a trade. Nice, that's a very good trade. I can actually kill him again right now. Oh, he's smart. He's going out. Hold the wave again, like this. Keep holding it, most importantly. Oh, I didn't hit my Q. That was my bad. Would have been a perfect trade if I actually did. Now we start pushing because we're about to reach level 6. This is a very important moment. We're going to cheese him right now. And we got him. The jungler is going to... I mean, the kill is going to my jungler. But whatever, it's fine. He can uh, he can carry with the kill, so... 
besides the the wave is the lane is now one for me. Yeah, like I say again, like Wukong is such a ridiculously OP champion. For some reason, nobody plays him. He's got a really high win rate. He's got everything you need in terms of like team fighting, laning phase, everything. He's just outstanding in like so many different ways. And yet, like he's underrated as a champion. Don't really know why. But I'm pretty sure in the upcoming weeks, I'm pretty sure people will eventually figure out how broken Wukong is at the moment. It's only a matter of time because there are other champions right now which are like really big meta. Now, I'm specifically going for this item right now. Uh, not for Kino Gem, although it would have probably been better in some way. I'm going for this item because I want to try to snowball it through damage. As long as I keep holding the wave in a really good position, then it won't matter how much uh, HP I have. I just have to trade perfectly every single time. If I take more damage, I have more chances at beating him early. Otherwise, it's going to take more trades. Normally, when you play Wukong, you want to like short trade with your Qs, like in between when he takes CS. But Nocturne's still going to drop down like a passive and Q every single time. I got this. Perfect position. I'll take this one real quick so I get to level seven. Now things get really fun. Nice. Unfortunately, I don't get to freeze it because the wave is too massive. I would take too much damage. Good. We're going to slow build the wave towards Nocturne right now. It's going to be favored for me. As long as we slow build it up and we have more creeps on our side, it's going to be bad for him. He's trying to roll mid right now. Uh, you can definitely tell because he went into the river. He has the ultimate, so he could roam if he wants to. Let's take a look. Surprisingly enough, he actually has more farm than I do right now, but it's because of my trades. Could have done it differently. Seems like he's actually backporting and getting his uh, next item, I think. Oh, he's staying? Just try to stop. Okay. Sure. Nice one. He blocked my E, not my Q. So it did like insane damage right there. Put me to the test. Hmm. We should just Q him instantly as soon as he goes for the cannon. Nice one. I got him. See you later. That didn't take much skill at all. It looks like like you might think that Wukong is difficult to play, but trust me when I say this, I don't play Wukong that much myself. I'm not a Wukong main or anything like that, right? Just throwing out there. I'm just a normal Wukong player. I played like I played like maybe 10 Wukong games at most. I know exactly how this champion works because you know, I get to play against Wukong on a daily basis when I play solo queue. But I can safely say I played this champion 10 times. It is ridiculously easy to play this thing. It takes no skill, literally. It just takes, you just have to understand the way how Wukong's trading works, like with E, with auto and Q, and you should know like how W works uh, for your R when you engage. That's all, that's all you have to know about this champion in order to make it work. The trading in itself, it's just super flawless. It's really easy to, to to pick it up. He's gonna try to all in, I think? No. Okay. Diego is top set. That's a ward down right here. We're definitely not gonna push in this wave. We want this wave to crash into my tower, or at least close to it. We wanna put him into an into a bad position, right? So we hold the wave right now. We're obviously not going to tank it up because otherwise it's going to be too much. Oh, it seems like he's actually going to roam. 
He has no R anymore. I'm going to slow build it up towards him. Yep, there he is. Now we can beat him. He has no R anymore. And he's halfway mana. Hmm. Mm, we're so close to it. Would he turn? Nice try. <laughs> he just uses his shield like that. Alright, sure. I'm fine with that, actually. I could push it in. I don't think he's going to stay. Okay, here's my clone as well to push a little bit faster. Don't forget that. That's also a huge part of Wukong. I'll take one plate and then I'll go back. Nice. Apparently, Fiego's topside. I actually want to backboard now, but I think you can get a really good playoff. Wait. Ooh. Yeah, I died for it as well. Okay, this is not worth for me. Not for me, at least. I should have just gone for the kill on Cassiopeia. Uh, simply taking that kill and then backing off. Uh, I tried to actually kill Teemo as well. I think if I actually had my R uh, going off on him and my Q ended it perfectly, I think I might have actually got a kill on him, but I would still die. Now I die. I get like one kill, but it's simply not worth because Nocturne is also topside now, and he's taking, like, many platings right now. So, it's not really favorite for me. Not really. It's not really good for me. Yeah, he gets, like, he gets, like, all four platings. That's even worse. Whatever. We should still be fine. We're coming back to lay now. We have the Trinity Force already, so I think we can just all in. He has barely got any mana as well. Let's see what he's going to do. I want to get Hydra this game, actually. I'm thinking about it. We can also go for Titanic, actually. Or maybe even Sterex Gauge into... Or maybe Black Lever into Sterex Gauge. I don't know. Hydra is always fun on Wukong. I like to build it. If you just snowball really hard, it's going to be really useful. There comes the TP from Nocturne. He has the Stride Breaker right now, so we have to be very careful. The Platings definitely gave him, like, so much gold right now. Let's see what he's going to do. Oh, we actually hit that one. Oh, he sees, he sees my Joner. It's not really working. Hmm. I should have all him with my W. I'm actually kind of surprised how he didn't see it. <laughs> to be honest. I'll push this out as well. I want to try to do a roam to mid lane, actually. Nice try. Ooh, you're you're pretty much dead right now. Thank you very much. Th we can take this guy down as well. Nice. My Jonah gets the kill again. I'm fine with that. I don't mind. He can snowball with this. Take down the next wave. Nocturne is like 10 seconds dead. He does have his ultimate, so we have to be very fast. Great. Now we go back. Now, in before, we're going to go back here, and Nocturne's going to press R on me. Hopefully not. Hopefully that's not going to happen. <laughs> Otherwise, I'm going to have to use my flash. Oh, okay. He's not using it. I'm very glad, honestly. That would have been very painful if he actually did. So, next step. We have TP up in 70 seconds. Dragon's taken. So, what we're going to do is 
We go bot lane. There's like a massive wave here that we have to take. Uh, along with this, I would like to get the red buff as well if it's there. I would really want to get the red buff. If we get red buff, we can just 1v1 anybody. Red buff is the most broken thing in the game. Sometimes. Oh, he has a fight in that. If he survives... Uh, this, I'm not sure if we can actually beat this guy, but we'll see. Good. This guy's dead as well. Nice. And I've got my W ready. I don't want to get caught into that because he could have killed me there if I didn't flash. I want to get the uh, I want to get the uh, red buff. Actually, nice. Uh, red buff has already been taken, unfortunately. Oh man. There, there's always something about when you play Wukong and you're like farming out every single camp and you use your W and you get like multiple auto attacks off to, and you get your Q back up really fast. There's something about it. It's like really, really, really satisfying. I got this. We need like 200 gold. If Nocturne shows, we will have to back off because he's currently stronger than me. Nice. Got it. Let's get back. Now you guys have a lot of questions regarding Wukong and whether this champion will scale, uh, you know, about the scaling. Uh, pretty much, Wukong is an excellent late game champion. In fact, if you get to the late game, it becomes even better for you. For many different reasons. Whew. Should have actually focused the other guy first. I, I kind of played that wrong. Yeah, yeah I, I should have definitely focused the other guy first. Also, my uh, the combo I did was my mistake actually. I didn't do that properly. That was totally my bad. If I use my if I use my ultimate later, and just start off with. EQ first, I would have killed them. But I was thinking that I could combine uh, or use my ultimate like as soon as my clone would run out. So I didn't time that correctly at all. So that's why it failed. That was why I ulted like so randomly uh, while being away from them. Because I kind of baited myself with the clone. Gwen is currently bought. We can, we can fight this guy. We have to be careful though, because he's got Rift Maker and he's got uh, Nash's Tooth with Steel Caps. My place is at the top. I'm gonna use my clone for this. I think she might show up. Nice. Been waiting for this. Let's. See if there's any wards down here. Gwen is currently in mid. Nocturne is top. We have TP ready. I think that this is still going to be a pretty difficult game. Because their late game champions are... Like, they are fully late game champs. Uh, especially Cassio. If she gets scaling, it's going to be really hard. Same thing goes for Fiega and the others. Wait, what? I think she might still be here. Who questions my ability? They're trying to protect the, the dragon, I think. Probably. I don't just want to walk in there and see. Oh, I'll try it out. Yeah, like I thought. I'm using my clone to use my ultimate. Like I thought, man. They were waiting for me. Just like, 
Just like I thought. I was waiting there for such a long time because I knew that they were going to be trapping me somewhere here. But I did not expect it in this bush. <laughs> Whatever. Never for oh, my teammates are getting caught now. Okay, we're going to have to somehow 1v4 this because my mid laner is top side currently. Well, I'm afraid we're probably going to lose the entire mid right now because we don't have anyone here to help us out. Yep, we're going to lose this one. Okay, got my team here now. Hmm. Nice. We can get this guy too. One more? Nope. Close. Very, very close. I'll see if I can get some jungle camps right now. I'll take the, the wave in mid and just go to the jungle camps. We have to keep farming up. We're not strong enough for the uh we're not strong enough in the in the team fights. We need the whole team to be grouping up, but it's not happening. So I'll see if I can like farm out pretty much everything. I think if we get like a really nice lead, we already have like a nice lead, but I think if we have like an even bigger lead, I think that we can probably carry like every fight. We're currently two levels ahead of everybody, right? If we get an even bigger lead somehow, I think we can honestly win all the fights like four against five. Wait. Oh, I messed it up. I should have used my ultimate earlier. I tried to get the full combo off right there. Two of them are dead. Nice. Mm, could probably kill him. Got him. Uh, there's Gwen here around. Got the rep up for myself as well. Man, Wukong with Hydra is so satisfying, man. The, the, I don't know what it is, but it's so satisfying to play this champ. And farm out and everything and get patches. It's so easy to do. We got a blue buff, so we can stay. Are you going to try? See you later. I have my ultimate in like 5 seconds. Watch this. <laughs> I'm telling you guys. From the start of this game. You know. It's a very underrated champion. But like I said. There's a reason why this champion has such an incredible high win rate, guys. Like, this champion is already explaining itself when you see him in the mid game. It's absolutely ridiculous. The, you know, the Q does too much damage. The E is just way too good for the cooldown, like 4 seconds cooldown. The ultimate with W combination is just ridiculous. You know. Farming jungle camps is the easiest thing to do in the world when you get Hydra and you already have Hy uh, and you already have Trinity Force for your empowered Qs and everything. Drake spawns in 30 seconds. We need the team to be grouping up. Okay. Nice. Okay, we're getting we're getting destroyed by Gwen. 
That was scary. I couldn't escape out of that one, unfortunately. I could try to run. Probably wouldn't work because she had her ultimate. Like, even if I run into this direction, she would still pop her ultimate. I would still die. Man, the chainsaw definitely does help in this game against Gwen and against Viego. But I feel like, despite being like really fed, I think we're, we're uh, I think if we just group up properly with the team, I think we will probably win really hard. Let's take Sarah's cage. This is gonna help. I need one more item. I'm thinking about getting um, Guardian's Angel in this game. That's the final item. Gwen is bottling. I could try to 1v1 her. Click this wave. This camp is spawning very soon. I would like to take it as well. Nice. We got TP up. I'm just going to split bot lane for now. We have to TP up. If my team starts fighting, I can TP to them immediately and help them out. I actually want to try to like 1v1 Gwen on the side lanes if she shows. So we just have to maintain the pressure right now. We just have to keep splitting as much as possible. Get every jungle camp. The turrets. Oh man, the attack speed feels so satisfying. Also, Wukong like hardly uses any mana, so you can just keep spamming everything, especially when you go for this build. I feel like I'm just not running out of mana. I just don't. Sweet. Got the Gwen. Let me go bot lane again. I want my team to go Baron, actually. They should just start it right away. Keep you up. There we go. Okay. What are you gonna do? Oh, I'll play some Teemo? He plays, he plays rooms down everywhere. Doesn't matter. This guy doesn't do any damage. We have to be very careful about Nocturne though, because his ultimate is up right now. I need like a hundred gold to buy Guardian's Angel, man. Nice. Hmm. I'm probably not gonna live. Nope. Uh, my W was like two seconds, and we didn't have my uh, teammates with me. Okay. We are so fed, but it's so difficult to get anywhere this game. Because honestly, really, all it takes this game, we can we can finish this game in two minutes. I'm telling you. I'm serious. If my team goes mid as four, and we have one guy split pushing, whether it's Aurelia or me. Uh, it would be great if it was me because I had TP. If we do this, this game will last only two minutes longer. Because we have Baron 2 now. We can just take all the inhibs and everything. Take it this one. Oh, never mind. It's not worth. Because there's nothing happening in the map anyways. Next Drake spawns in 35. My team grouping mid. 
Okay, the big fight's about to start. Oh, this is bad. I still have my ult. Turn on him. Pew. I still have my Guardian's Angel. <laughs> my I'm actually very glad, honestly. Let's take this. Nice. That team fight, I got caught into the ultimate. Oh, really? Oh, I'll take it then. Uh, wait. Group up. For bed. Let's fight. We just have to group mid right now and then it's over. Okay. Now all it takes... ...is to go mid. We force out one more team fight. And that's it. I'm pretty sure we're going to win the next team fight because Aurelia's fed. I could red buff. I have a Guardian's Angel. They won't beat me anymore. They won't have a chance. Let's go. What are you gonna do? I have the item, so he can't heal. Actually, I don't have to. I don't have to go back. Let's keep going. I got Guardian Sancho, I'm fine. It's okay. I got Guardian Sancho, anyways. It's only Nocturne. Yep. This game is going to be over here. Use my W as well. Okay, let's uh, take a look and see, guys. How much damage? I think we've done like 30k damage. I think maybe 40k. I don't really know. We've done like so many good team fights. I think we actually even did 40k damage. I wouldn't even be surprised, actually. Uh, I'll take get to this guy. Okay, let's take a look. Uh, for the damage, we've done 42.7k damage for the uh, runes. This is the runes that we've been using. One more thing, guys. This game was being played live. If you guys want to see me play live, make sure to check out the uh, link inside the description, guys. Pretty much live every single day. But uh, thank you for watching today's video. I'll see you guys next time. Peace.